previously on Fan Expo Day 1. Alright, so the total for today. There is 72 worms on a string remaining. Hoping to see this pile smaller in the next two days. Yeah. Here are some clips of some of the stuff that went on on day two of Philadelphia Fan Expo. On my way to Fan Expo day two with my worms. Okay, we're here! Yay! Finally! <laughs> It actually didn't take long to get in. I don't know why I'm saying finally, but yeah, we're here. Yay! Day two. <laughs> okay, guys, we're here about to watch the K-pop performance. <laughs> we then sat there for a few more minutes until somebody that worked there said that there was a delay and that the performance would be happening later on, which wasn't really an issue. So we just got up and then walked around for a bit and then we came back to see the performance. The group that was hosting this event is called Hope for Tomorrow, and they are a dance group based in Philadelphia. I'll link their YouTube channel in the description if you want to check them out, which I definitely recommend because I think their covers are great. I really enjoyed this event, and it was nice to get to see them dance live. After we left the event, we went back to the main show floor and looked at some more tables. A table that I ended up spending a lot of time at was the table run by the Philly Game Shop. They had lots of cool looking dice and they were actually pretty affordable compared to some other ones at the convention. So I am at this dice stand. Hello Kohane. I'm going to I'm going to get 50 cents. Dice. Because why the hell not? Let's see. Oh, it's sparkly! I then continued to do this for a total of five more times to try and get a random set of dice. Haul video coming soon, by the way. And not too long after this, it was already time for the Mikusu Maid Cafe. So going straight off of the card that I received from inside the event, Maid Cafe Mikusu is an anime slash pop culture convention based maid cafe with a focus on Akihabara authenticity and kawaii culture. This was a ticketed event and I ended up going with the standard seating. The standard seats come with your choice of coffee, tea, or water and it also comes with a small gift from the maids as well. Here's a short video of their introduction since we weren't allowed to record past the beginning of the event. We are Maid Cafe Mikusu. Press start to play. Here are some of the things that were on our table as we walked in. So we have this sticker that just has the cafe's logo on it. We have this card that has some information about the cafe itself. And then we also have this photo card of one of the maids. I got one of Maid Taiga. And then I also got a little packet of candy as well. This event was definitely not what I thought it was going to be like, but in the best way possible. I had such a good time and I'd 100% get tickets to go again if I have the chance to. If you yourself are a lover of chaos, I'd give this experience a try. So yeah, that's basically all the things that I did on day two of Philadelphia Fan Expo. Alright, so we just left Fan Expo day two. It was pretty good! <laughs> Yeah! Oh my, god. oh my god! I can't wait to be on tomorrow! Because apparently there's going to be all the Project Sekai fans showing up. So because yeah! There's going to be a Wonderland performance! Yeah! Oh my god, I can't wait. Okay, I will see you at the beginning of day three. Goodbye. This bag that once held a hundred worms is empty after two days. So I ordered another one and hopefully it gets here on time for tomorrow on day three and I could give out more. Yay!